Hello, I'm Rocketman Dan, and today we're going to be rendezvousing and docking. So first let's go into the map screen, and we're going to set as target the ship we would like to rendezvous with. There we go, there's Val, let's set as target. Second thing we're going to do is correct our inclination. We're at a 0.5 degree inclination. So I'm going to make a manoeuvre on that descending node there and that'll be a normal burn. Because we're going down through the orbit at the moment, we just want to correct that with a upwards burn. There we go, only a short burn, three seconds. Let's fast forward on through to that manoeuvre. There we go, we're nearly there now. And just try and stay locked to that manoeuvre. If you haven't unlocked that ability yet, just try and hold to that manoeuvre as best you can. Perfect, we're at zero degrees of inclination now. And because we're in a lower orbit of Kerbin, than the ship we want to dock with. We're at an orbit of 80,000 and the ship we want to dock with is currently at 102,000. I think they're both about circular. What I'm going to do is plan a manoeuvre. I think somewhere about... Yeah, about here, but I don't want to do it now because we're going slower. We're, sorry, we're going faster because we're orbiting closer. We'll eventually catch up with Val. I want to plan our manoeuvre so we're already very close and then by the time we've come all the way round to the other side of the planet we'll have met up. So I'm just going to keep skipping orbit and see those little orange lines there. These are our first intersection. So I'm just going to keep tapping next orbit. There we go, there looks like a close encounter. Okay, let's just have a see what it says. That's still 30 kilometers away, so what we're going to do is cycle through and see if we can get one closer. There we go, just by moving the maneuver away from us, we can get quite a bit closer there. I'm going to try and get this as absolutely close as possible. But if you're struggling, just try and get below five kilometers to start off with. There we go, that's a zero kilometer away and our relative speed at the time will be 48.7 meters per second. So I'm going to lock to that maneuver and that's in three hours and 43 minutes, which will take quite a long time so I'll just fast forward on through till we're about ready to make the burn for the manoeuvre. There we go, that time warp's all complete now. and I've automatically turned over to my manoeuvre node. If you look, the ships are already quite close together. So I'm just going to wait till my manoeuvre and then start my burn. There we go, perfect. Now if you just have a look up here at the top of the nav ball, I'm going to press X on it a couple of times until it tells me my information regarding my target. There we go. And now I'm going to turn retrograde to target. There we go. And now we have actually got a separation of 0.3 kilometers away. So what I'm going to do is warp until I'm about a minute or two minutes away from the intersection and start doing some corrective maneuvers. I'm just going to be freehanding these. Now if you look on the nav ball you can see my retrograde target is almost at my anti-target. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn and push my retrograde target towards that anti-target marker. And if you can see that, it's pushing my encounter closer to where I actually want to be. There we go, now I'm at zero kilometers away. And I'm going to face fully retrograde. And I suggest just, you know, taking your time with this, but I'm just gonna fast forward on through a bit till I'm a little bit closer. There we go, I'm just going to give it another corrective burn. Now I'm going to face fully retrograde and try and kill off a lot of that speed. There we go. Now I'm only moving towards the target at 9.9 .9 meters per second. I'm just going to fast forward just again. And I'm going to correct that movement there as well and get that retrograde. I'm going to push it onto my anti-target. There we go. I'm going to go back into the flight screen. And you can see my target. Oh, it just popped up. Where's it gone? There it is. I'm facing, I want to be facing retrograde to target. I'm moving towards it at 7.5 meters per second. Let's just kill off a bit of that speed. There we go, 2.6 meters per second. You see the numbers just counting down. Now I'm going to face my target. I'm just going to lock to target there. And now I'm going to press triangle, toggle docking mode. I'm going to click that on. And now I'm going to turn on my RCS. L1 and circle to turn on RCS. And now, down brings up my prograde marker on the left analog stick. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to try and get that prograde marker inside that target marker. Let's just speed things up a little bit, shall we? There we go, we have successfully rendezvoused with Val. I'm just tapping L2 to slow myself right down. That's another little trick you probably might have seen before. So I'm going to press L1 and either left or right on the directional pad. And it switches me over to Val's ship. Here she is. She hasn't got much in the way of anything. Only a little engine, no heat shield, no parachutes. And that solar panel doesn't retract. So it wouldn't be very good for her to try and re-enter. So let's double tap X on Jeb's vessel and that'll set it as target. And I'm going to point Val. I'll go, <laughs> sorry, I'll go back into the staging mode and I'm going to point Val in the direction of the target, which is Jeb, obviously. This will make it so much easier for docking. I'm going to switch back over to Jeb with L1 and either left or right on the directional pad. There we go. I'm going to tell him to point to target again. And I'm just going to give it a small RCS burn. I'm going to tap L2 and that will give me a slight nudge. Well, it will do when I go back into docking mode again. There we go. Just line it back up. Not too fast. 0.5 meters per second, you know, it'll get you there slow and steady. There we go, you'll find it drifts off a little bit, so you just want to correct that. There we go. Valentina should be pointing in the same direction as us now, as we are to her. You can see the numbers just creeping slowly together. Keep doing correction burns as and when you need them. To slow down, don't forget it's R2 to slow down relative to your target with your RCS on and docking mode enabled. Let's just zoom right in and have a look at this as we start to dock.
perfect. We are now one vessel. And there's Kerbin. What we can do is we can just click on Valentina's door just there. And press transfer. We want to transfer to the blue part to the command pod we're using. There we go. And that's it. And that's what you need to know about rendezvous and docking. Okay, if you'd like to like, share, subscribe, maybe leave me a comment, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.